First Instinct versus First Instinct Extreme versus First Instinct Blue. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna do a quick little comparison video today. I've reviewed all these as separate videos. So I've been testing them side by side, giving them all their own day of wearing. I do have a definite winner of which one is my favorite. So I'm gonna kinda of go over all three really quick and then explain which one I like the best and which one is best for you. Starting off with the first, first instinct. I did post the very first video about this and then several others posted a lot better videos and eventually caught on a lot of hype. Surprising how many people in the fragrance community started to hype this fragrance and give it the praise it deserves. Normally with Abercrombie, people just never give it the light of day. People, they say that, oh, Fierce was good back in the day, but it sucks now. It's basically all everyone's gonna say. This one actually caught traction being posted as being a teeny bopper fragrance. It kind of is to me that that's the one problem with it it's really enjoyable but it's almost unisex or teenagery it's hard for me to comment if i would want to wear this as a teen it's definitely more youthful so i usually find that i get better attention and compliments when i wear manly style scents even at that age something more manly might be better but besides that the smell is very good tropical light a little bit transparent it's got a little bit of a boozy vibe in there too um, but generally it was just a little bit too youthful for me this time around although it is it's pretty nice and for the right person it's definitely worth keeping in your collection it's definitely worth trying because it is pretty solid and it's really not that much smells like it it's just too youthful for me where i'm at in my journey all right, First Instinct Extreme, it's more of a normal style scent in my opinion. The original First Instinct has parts of it that make it a little bit more unique. It's almost a little transparent, which is kind of a little bit hard to pull off in the right fragrance. This is also a little bit tropical, I would say. So it pulls on a lot of things. It's sweet, it's fresh, it's tropical, it's transparent. It's got a little bit of pepper, a little bit of booziness in there. Um, this one's a little bit more simple. I think it's supposed to have like some leather and stuff in the background. I'll, I'll put the notes on the screen. It smells probably about 90% the same. Uh, it's hard for me to recommend recommend this if you don't like the original first instinct because it definitely has that same familiar style fruity sweetness that you get with the original this one's just so much more easy to wear i, I can't really explain why i didn't actually mind wearing this when i'd wear the, the other two i would just be like this is just a little bit too off for me i would say this one is a little bit less unique but it's also so much more wearable it definitely loses a little bit of uniqueness compared to the original first instinct blue now i had a lot of good things to say about first instinct blue i actually really do like it it's really unlike the first instinct line they keep the bottle but it's really just not like a blue version of first instinct at all i would say it's closer to abercrombie fitch fierce or something like parfums de marley percival a little bit of sweetness a little bit of fresh a little bit of blue well done for the price the only problem with this one and again if in the future if it changes but this one has terrible terrible projection guys like i could spray this you know, maybe 10 times in a, maybe an hour and a half, it, you probably wouldn't smell almost anything or I wouldn't think I, anybody would really smell me with it. I've talked to a, a subscriber of mine, a few other people have tried it and they get a little bit better projection longevity. Even compared to the for original First Instinct, I felt like this, I'm spraying almost nothing on there. And it's unfortunate because this one might be number one out of the First Instinct line, but again, it's just so unlike First Instinct. It seems a little bit like a cash grab, whereas First Instinct Extreme actually is a little bit different and it's definitely worth with um, creating a new bottle. It's different, but enough to be called First Instinct. This one's really not. However, I really do like the smell. I really do enjoy the smell. It's a great smell, great $20 fragrance. For a blue fragrance to be somewhat unique and for me to recommend it is a little bit rare. The longevity and projection, I just couldn't do it. So what do I recommend out of all these? If you really, 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 really like Fierce, I recommend trying this one. Maybe it'll last a little longer on you. It definitely lasts a decent amount, but then I just noticed like it overspray, it just goes away. But if you can picture a blue Fierce and you like fierce definitely get this for twenty dollars you get a huge bottle for me the winner was abercrombie fitch first insta extreme it just was so much more easy to wear it's more full it's less transparent and it's a little bit less feminine or unisexy the smell smells great on both but there's just a little bit of a, like a femininity that it's hard for me to get over in the first one just personally i'd recommend this one if you're real young i would recommend this one but again i would say this is just a tad less unique but so much more wearable at the same time. This one's more unique, but more youthy. And then I guess Fierce Blue, that's just for people who really want a blue Fierce, I recommend that. So anyways, guys, that's been my review. I'm gonna go with First Instinct Extreme is my favorite. Just let me know if you've tried any of these three. Are they too youthful for you? Do you incorporate them? Do you like any of these? I would be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. I hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.
Um, you, I def, 